Hey, can you speak to her? Mrs. Webster won't be influenced by anything I've got to say, I promise you. You could at least try. All right, Josh, calm down. Well, he acts like he's our mate, like he's so cool, and then he hasn't even got the guts to go in there and challenge the rules. It's pathetic. Come on, drink up. Don't rush me. We're closing. Lunch is served. That was quick. I put some feta cheese and olives in there for a Greek salad. Why are you closing? It's on the school of the phone. He's had an accident in cooking. It's nothing serious, but I've got to go and pick him up. You don't have to close. Oi! Shift yourself! I've got no one to cover, Steph. I can go and pick him up. You know, I'm free and it'd be nice to see him again. Right. That's if you don't mind. No, well, that'd be great. I'll owe it to you. Come around for your lunch if you want, if you don't mind having Lusaka again. Are you sure Nicky wouldn't mind? Ah, oh, nah, I should be fine. Okay, well, that'd be lovely. See you later. See ya. So, what happened? Are we having a public execution or what? Suspended for a week. And that's a good thing. No, it's rubbish. Cup half full, Josh. Anyway, we've got a week off. Imagine the way things are at home, I doubt that'll notice I'm not in school. Well, now that is good then, isn't it? Right, last one's the part by the cider. Come on, hat girl! What's happened to you? What did you do that for? Shouldn't you be in school, young man? Sorry? What's the question there? I was joking. Was. Should you be in school? Oh, oh okay. Oh. No, I, I don't know if it's me, you know? I don't know if I should be a teacher, you know, in school. Huh. What don't you know? Well, you know, all the targets, meetings, initiatives, rules. Yeah, you're too much of a free spirit, aren't you? Exactly. We had a teacher like you in my school. What is going on over there? Stop. Maybe someone should tell Blondie that she's taking the wrong turn and, and it's Hollyoaks and not Hollywood. I wasn't in any cab, so how could I run off without paying? Oh, oh. oh! Right, that's it. I'm going to report you to the European Court of Human... Oh, my God. Rights? Yes, human rights. Sydney? Is that you? Oh, hey, Max. <sighs> right, I need something. Oh, I knew you'd come crawling. Just give it to me. You're giving me mixed messages, Fletch. Earlier it was all dirty looks, and now it's, can I have some gear? Are you going to give it to me or not? You are so pathetic. I've slept with your girlfriend. And all you're bothered about is getting high. Well, Fletch. I'm just gonna sell these dope to them kids, but you do the deal for me, and I'll sort you out. Yeah, boys. Yeah, now you just sent me over this. Cheers. Just wait. And you look late. You know what I can't even Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Well, I was just referring to the old ticker. How do you know about that? I think Grandma can hear Christmas news letter. Yeah, you must tell me all about it. We've got so much to catch up on. Enough about me. Let's talk about you and Mummy. What's with the new look? It's so her boyfriend won't recognise her. Oh. Please, Max. Don't make me remember. It's just... Too painful. She can't even bear to hear his name. Whose name? Philippe, Cindy's boyfriend. <laughs> Told you. It's taken all I've got. Left me with nothing. So, um, how did we find out the man with no name has cleaned you out? Imagine. We're in the Super Mercado. All we wanted was some bread and cheese. <laughs> But it came up saying, oh, insufficient funds. But we weren't running away from the cab. Cindy had a funny turn. <laughs> That's why we got out of the traffic lights. If you'd just given me the chance to explain. Oh, it's all sorted now. I'll pay you back for the fare. Don't worry about it. No. It might take me a while, but I will. Too proud, Max. That's my problem. Oh, you can't get me a drink of water, could you? I'm a bit dry. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm 
Christy. I've been trying to get hold of Amy, but she's not answering. Well, maybe she shouldn't want to see you. What, because she'd rather spend her time with you? Got it in one. Why do you have to be so spiteful? Sarah, he's not worth it. Look, she prefers to be with me over her own family. Right, what does that say about you? You turned her against us. I don't think so, right? You're too busy prancing around in your knickers for a living to even care what she's up to. What? I care about her. Did you know that she was pregnant, eh? No. Exactly. You ain't no sister to me. Unless you like it, that is. Of course I don't. Oh, I'll be looking like Peaches girled off in no time. Come on then, show us the damage. What happened, Ames? It was Steve last night. Why? What did you? It was all my fault. How was this your fault? We were arguing about how skimp we are and... Well, I went off on one about how I couldn't even afford a haircut. And I just grabbed the kitchen scissors and chopped it off. You hacked your own hair off? But Amy, you're always skimp. 